Hi guys, I hope you're good. I haven't got much of a video for you this week. I was supposed to be doing a five or six day cruise, which would have given me a lot of content. But unfortunately that had to be cancelled. I will tell you all about that and what I got up to instead and also give you an update on my camper van. So firstly the cruise. I had five days off of work and an early finish and a late start either side of it so it was going to be a good amount of time to get away. I'd originally booked the time off of work because I was going to a festival and obviously Covid and whatnot that was cancelled so but that's fine I'll go cruising instead. But no. The wind was fierce for the first three days that I planned to go away we're talking like into the 30 miles per hour plus it was really really bad so obviously it wasn't safe to go that's fine I did some other stuff instead and I thought okay I'll have a couple of days I can still get out and enjoy myself but no again the weather had other ideas that's when the rain started and I mean like proper proper rain it rained solidly for over 48 hours non-stop and continued for a few days after that the river ended up in flood it was the worst i have ever ever seen it here's some videos that i took and some that my neighbors shared with me it was really really bad there were boats up and down the country that had sunk um yeah not good for anyone and then as you can see the storm washed up all of this rubbish outside my boat so I'm gonna have to clear all of that away before I even think about taking the boat out once the weather's improved So I decided to do some painting instead. I did most of the bedroom in my underwear, so we would not be seeing that. I'm not sure really how much more cruising I'm going to get done between now and the spring. I'm definitely going to get out for a few day trips when the weather permits, but because I don't have a stove, I think any longer cruises were probably getting to the end of the window where I can comfortably do that. Once I'd finished the bedroom, then I started on the main room. When I built this bookshelf, I put some of it in upside down and I was getting fed up having to look at it. So I took it apart and rebuilt it properly. And then I got on with painting the walls. I had cleaned everywhere, washed it all down and left it to dry overnight. And it was still absolutely covered in cobwebs by the next morning, so that was a bit annoying. I'm going to paint above the gunnels first because I know that I'm going to run out of paint and the second tin that I've got is a slightly different shade so hopefully it will blend in alright if I do the bottom half with a different colour to the top half.
Now, if you watched my last video, you will have seen that it ended with my camper van being taken away on a recovery truck. So what happened was I went for my hike in the Peak District, went out for dinner afterwards and left Manchester late that evening. As soon as I got onto the motorway, the engine started struggling. I couldn't get the van over about 40 miles an hour and noticed that a warning light had come on on the dashboard. Luckily, I was very close to the next junction, so I managed to crawl off and pull over where it was safe. It was the master warning light that had come on and I did a quick Google about what could have been causing that. I checked all of the main things, couldn't find anything obvious, so I called the breakdown people. They came and they dropped me to a garage somewhere near Stockport. Got there late that night slept in the van until the garage opened the next morning and left it with them. I didn't do any filming that day, I just wasn't in the mood for it really and there wasn't much to see, I just was killing time until I heard back from the garage. Luckily they were able to fix it on the same day, it was a fuel injector had broken and needed to be replaced. So they did that and I collected the van that evening. Uh, it ran perfectly, I haven't had any problems with the van since, so fingers crossed they've done a good job and I won't have any more issues. I've got a fun van trip planned for a few days time, so hopefully that will go well. Uh, either way I'll, I'll vlog it, whatever happens, so definitely come back next week and see that. Anyway, I've finished the first coat of the painting. I've left that overnight to dry. Hopefully I'm picking up some new window blinds tomorrow as well. So when I go back and do the second coat of paint, I'll fit the new blinds as well. So I'm sorry that this wasn't the most exciting video, but that's the reality of boating and having a full-time job as well. You've got limited time to get out and enjoy yourself and sometimes things come along and throw a spanner in the works. But you just have to adapt, find something else to do and make the best of the time that you do have. Okay, thank you for watching. Be sure to come back next time and we will have a van adventure. Okay, see you then. Bye.